Hey guys, and welcome back to Battalion Wars. In the last part, Sargorgi was murdered by Commandant Ubel. And next, we are heading into a new campaign. Or campaign. We are heading to uh, the Coral Atoll. Down there, you can just barely kind of read it there. And we are starting off with X Day. It's time to take the fight to the enemy. Invade and reclaim the base at Beachy Point from Exylvanian occupation. We must dislodge the enemy foothold from this first landmass in the Coral Atoll's island chain. Or Coral Atoll. Whatever. Colonel, what news? We sent an expeditionary force to meet with Empress Laco of the Solar Empire. However, it seems that they were intercepted by the Exorvangians. And so the curtain rises on yet another theater of war. What now? We engage the enemy. If we are to have peace, we must fight for it. It pleases me when you are assertive, Colonel Austin. Uh... We're gonna ignore that. Okay. Anyway... Aside from that, uh, mental imagery, um, let's go ahead and start this new campaign. Which, honestly, I like this campaign a lot. It's really fun. Just this first mission's really tough. Greetings, Commander, and welcome to the Coral Atolls. This is Beachy Point Island. We are here to put a stop to Kaiser Vlad's invasion of the Solar Empire. The survivors of the Frontier's Expeditionary Force are also waiting to be rescued. Unfortunately, Vlad has this island extremely well fortified. Your battalion will be assaulting in trench positions, so use your mortar vest to flush the enemy out of cover. Ready, Commander? Then I'll see you on the beach. No, you won't. You're not coming with us. You're just a lazy bum that just tells me stuff. Oh, well, you are apparently the one that most of the people are enjoying the most of. Only relentless force will win this day. Yeah, yeah, I know. Jeez, you're really bossy, you know that? Okay, so... Them down, my loyal foot soldiers. Beachy Point belongs to ex now. Go, 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 go. Okay. Your tanks to destroy the oh no, no, we lost him. Yeah, yeah. Dang, man, we're losing a lot here. Um, ah, man, we really are losing a lot of units here. Jeez. Do they have assault vets back there or something that I didn't notice? Is that it? Okay. All right, now this is a... I don't know why. I have a lot of trouble with this mission. This mission has always had given me a ton of trouble. Just always. Okay, now. Still have artillery there that we need to take out. So tanks to the artillery. Here, I'll just go and tank there. All right, so we still have three mortar units, so that's not too bad. That's pretty good, actually. We only lost a couple, and it wasn't really too many valuable units. We kept our assaults, and we uh, held on to both of our tanks. That, this beginning... Oh. Good job, Commander. Jeez, losing a lot of guys. Front to command wants your battalion to continue its advance and capture the helipad marked by the Silver Star. Hey, guys, get away from there, please. Okay. Defend the landing platform. These bunch of maggots must not be permitted to send for reinforcements. Yes, we should. Okay, so we have MG towers here. So get your mortar vets and go ahead and start blasting them, because you can get close enough to shoot them. Oh crap! No, no, no! I thought you could. Ah! That I thought that was like the whole point of being a mortar vet is that you could shoot it without getting hurt. <sighs> Whatever. Nobody died. We're cool. We're solid. Okay. Now, go ahead and take your tanks, and we're gonna head in here. Now, I. There we go. Use your tank to take out the MG tower, because you apparently can take it. Kaboom. Alright, now, watch it, because you have acid gas here. 
Acid gas are just like flamethrowers. They can't do a dang thing against vehicles, but against infantry, they will destroy you. So just be freaking careful. Okay, we got a couple over there. All right. Good job, Commander. There we go. You have eliminated the helipad garrison. Now raise the frontier flag. Yeah, yeah, I am. What the? There's still one alive? These guys are pretty sneaky. Oh, it's like they blend in. Oh, get up! Oh, what the? What are you guys doing? <laughs> the helipad is ours. I can now send in reinforcements. It's not a helipad. It's a helipad. Ah. Oh. Your next objective is to assault and capture Vlad's fortress. Head for the gold star. And it's objective, not objective. Unfortunately, Vlad has a strato destroyer circling overhead. Missile vets are amongst the survivors of the expeditionary force. They are being held in a POW camp marked by the Silver Star. Boom! Haha. <laughs> and right here you get oh uh, I forget exactly what you get. You get a tank, obviously. Uh Okay, we get mortars, and I think we get some more assault vets. That's nice. Yep, we do. So now we have three tanks and a whole bunch of assault vets and mortar vets. This is a nice, nice battalion. Only thing we've really lost so far is rifles, and they're not all that valuable. They're just kind of the... they're the cannon fodder. Oh well. We're doing just fine. Okay, rifle. Ooh, tank! Hello! Hi, tank. What's going on? Now watch out for the chargers and spitters, too, because tanks along with their support can be deadly. Ugh, it's funny because Left 4 Dead is an awesome game. Okay. I'll go ahead and take that out. Boom, there we go. Ow, 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 what is shooting me? Why am I not moving forward? Hello? Move. Jeez. That's something that just kills me in this game. Oh, there, grenade. Grenades are their mortar vets. So be careful, whenever you see a grenade, that's a mortar vet. Boom. Suck it. Okay. So let your guys go for all their med kits if they need them. And let's get going. Now there's actually two paths you can take. Uh, okay, that's the capture point, good. Uh, there's two paths that you can take, and I prefer this path. Uh, this path has a ton of artillery on it and rockets and that light tank there, but this one just has a couple rocket units and one tank. It doesn't have an, uh, you know, an artillery, which you don't want to have to deal with. So this is the path I usually take. Now, up here, you can't waste time. If you waste time, you will die. Just a fact. You will die in this mission if you take too long to do what you need to do. That has happened to me on three separate occasions. If you try to fight your way through this area, you're gonna die. Trust me, you will. They have tanks, rockets, rifles, MG towers, and gunships are going to be coming in. Kind of a spoiler, but if you try to fight your way through, just death will await you. That's it. Um, now what you need to do is you need to just punch your way through where you need to go and immediately start the next part of the mission where your infantry is not needed, technically. It is technically completely optional. Vlad is holding two of our fighters in his fortress. If you freeze the pilot, we should be able to even up the odds. This is what we need to do. Commander, Vlad is about to commit his straddle destroyer to the fray. Enemy gunships incoming, Commander. They must be the vanguard of Vlad's airborne assault. Shoot them down. There we go. You need to just rush in here with a tank. You freed the frontier pilot. Now get those fighters airborne. ASAP. Alright, now leave your infantry to its own devices. Fighters are the fastest of all airborne combat vehicles, but their heat sinking missiles are only effective against other air units. As with gunships, you must press and hold the R button and tilt the control stick if you wish to adjust your altitude. Okay, so now we have fighters. Fighters are so much fun. They are just planes that kill other planes. So you can actually have freaking dogfights in this game. Total awesomeness. 
And so, um, all aircraft have the exact same altitude control. You press and hold R, and um, you will, you know, change altitude that way. You know, you press, you go like that. That's how you change altitude. You press and hold R, and then you do that. So, that's how you change altitude, and all the the same controls, except for gunships, apply. Pressing the control stick forward when you're not holding R will just increase your airspeed. Then pressing back will slow you down. You want to hold back when you're turning, because then you can make a much sharper turn. Every attack is four rockets at once, but they are only anti-air rockets. So there's no help for tanks or anything like that, unless you are incredibly close. You can... I Actually, I think even if you hit them, they actually don't even do anything. Barely. Okay, uh, I think we just have gunships to kill, right? What are we supposed to do here? Here, I'll swap into a tank. I, oh, I don't even have a tank anymore. Wow. <laughs> we got kind of raped down there. Ah, there we go. Clear the skies, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Strato Destroyer. Where is it? There it is. Gold Star. Come with me. Right there. Whoa! primary fuel tank is located in its rear section. Now you know where to aim, Commander. Alright, kill the Strato Destroyer. Just freaking torch it. Boom. Down it goes. Did I lose a... Did I lose a fighter? No, okay, I thought I lost him. Jesus, like, what the crap? How did I lose it to gunships? That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, well, it was AI, so it wouldn't really matter to me anyway. We are going to get, like, zero technique for this, just letting you know. Because all of our freaking units are dead. Except for the, you know, the fighters and the rifles. Everything is pretty much dead. Got, like, raped by, uh, MG Towers. Where are you? I'm coming for you. Where, where is this thing? What is it, anyway? I don't know. It's Gold Star. Here's your courage, Commander. Oh, fine. You must return to the battlefield at once. Okay, fine. Hey! I was already heading back, jerk. Whatever, where is this guy? He's not... So we're waiting for a gold star that's not really even on the map. Alright, here, let's go ahead and swap to this. Alright, where's this MG tower? There it is. Just kill it! Jeez, guys, were you just standing in front of it? Just letting it kill you or something? Jeez. Well, at least we can get full power, because we're about to kill every last unit on the map. Kaboom. Alright. Now, what are we waiting for? Where is this dude? You are so slow. So slow. Come on, what are you... You getting your hair done? Gotta do your nails? Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Do you want to play the game with me? Come on, jeez. Get in the area. What are you afraid? Where is your courage, Commander? I'm going. You I'm must going. return to the battlefield at once. I'm going. I'm going. I was going. Oh, you don't have to teleport me back. Are you coming out or not? Okay, seriously, is this guy going to appear or what? I mean, he's not doing anything. You know, what? I'm going to cut until he actually gets here. This could actually be bad. He's not appearing. Hang on. There we go. He's here now. He should be. Unless he's going back. Okay, there we go. Finally, he's actually coming in. Finally, you came out. About time. That's the Frontier's first successful engagement against an enemy strato destroyer. If I know the Kaiser, he'll be furious. Congratulations, Commander. You have recaptured Beachy Point and liberated the survivors of the expeditionary force. The loss of this island is of no consequence to me. Exylvania shall prevail. It is our destiny! <laughs> that voice. I love Kaiser Vlad. He's awesome. Oh, whatever. Anyway, that's a tough one. You have to... Wow, we got 65% technique? Jeez, we lost like... 90% of our whole battalion. We sucked balls there. Okay, I'll take it. It's fine. I was expecting a C, but okay. Maybe that 100% power helped even things out. Alright. So, 
Next time on Battalion Wars, we will go to another mission. Like, totally, we have not been doing that. And we are be going... We're going to be doing Herman's Heroes. Whatever. Anyway, see you guys later. I'm bad at outrowing this game. See ya.